Welcome Primary 4. Today we will finish Lesson 2, Concept 2, which is talking about sensory organs. In the first part, we take the nocturnal animals and we take three examples, which is snake, uh, a pack, and owl. Today we will take the human nervous system. Okay, the five senses are apart from the human nervous system. As you can see in this picture, that's the nervous system in your body. The nervous system is consists of brain, spinal cord, and all of these pink tubes are nerves. The human nervous system is connected, the, the, the five senses are apart from it. Can you remember in lesson one, in this concept, we take what is the function or what is the job of the five senses? Yes, it collected the information from the surrounding environment. So the five senses collect the information from the surrounding and take it to the nervous system to allow the nervous system to respond for this information. So the nervous system is consists of brain, spinal cord, nerves. Brain, spinal cord, nerves. Okay? That's the brain in your head and this, that, that's the spinal cord in your back and that's the nerves. The nerves are exist in every part in your body. Okay? Let's start with the brain. The brain is located in your head. The brain is a leader of our body. The brain is the main control center of your body. Anything happened in your body, the brain is responsible for it. So the brain is responsible for everything happened in your body. It lead our body. It's the leader. So what is the brain? It's the main control center of the body. The brain is the main control center of the body. It controls everything in your body. Let's go to the spinal cord. I told you that the spinal cord exists in your back. There is bones in the middle of your back. Put your hand in the middle of your back. Can you feel the bones? Yes. These bones are called back bone. That's the back bone that exists in your back. Okay? And this red tube, it's the spinal cord. So the spinal cord is located in the back bone. Spinal cord is located in the back bone. What is the function or what is the job of, of the spinal cord? It takes the information from the brain to the body parts and also take the information from the body parts to the brain. What is the meaning of that? When the sensory organs collect the information, the spinal cord take this information from the body parts and give it to the brain. And I told you that the brain control everything in our body, so the brain responds for this information by sending the, this information through the spinal cord to the body part. Let's go to the nerves. As you can see, the nerves are exist in every part in our body. Okay? The nerves are connected, the brain and the spinal cord, to every part in your body. One more time. The nerves connected the brain and the spinal cord to every part in your body. What happened? The nerves take the information from the surrounding environment and give it to the spinal cord and the spinal cord give it to the brain. Then the brain sends the response through the spinal cord and the spinal cord give it to the nerves. The nerves give it to the body part. Let's take an example. If you touch a very hot cup of tea, what happened? You remove your hand. What makes you remove your hand? It's the nervous system. What happened? Your body part, which is your fingers or the skin in your hand, take information that that's the, this cup of tea it's very hot so it seems that there is hot thing uh, in the nervous system so it send the skin send the information that you touch a very hot thing in the in, through the nerves nerves take the, this information to the spinal cord the spinal cord take this information to the brain then the brain respond for this information to, through the spinal cord and the spinal cord take this response to your hand and your hand is moving far away from the cup so the response that comes from the brain is moving your hand far away from the cup one more time one more time if you touch a very hot cup of tea your skin take information that you touch a hot thing so this information goes through the what 
goes through the nerves. The nerves take this information to the spinal cord. So the spinal cord takes this information to the brain. So the brain takes in this information a response for it to remove your hand. To remove your hand, this information is moving from the brain to the spinal cord, to the nerves, to your hand. So you move your hand far away from the hot cup of tea. Okay? So the nervous system are connected, the body parts, to the brain and the spinal cord. So the messages are moving from the body parts, through the nerves, to the spinal cord, and to the brain, and the brain send the response through the spinal cord, and the spinal cord take it to the nerves, and the nerves take it to all the body parts. As you can see here, one more time, one more time. The sensory organs, I told you in the first slide that the five senses are part from the what? Nervous system. So the sensory organs, which are the five senses, are, con are part from what? From the nervous system. So the sensory organs take the information as you, as you touch a hot cup of tea. So your sensory organ, which is the skin, take this information to the what? the nerves and the nerves take it to the spinal cord and the spinal cord take it to the brain the brain sends the response through the spinal cord then the, the spinal cord send it through the nerves send the nerves send it to your hand to remove your hand okay okay so what are the sensory organs they are eyes nose ears tongue and skin okay the sensory organs are connected with a special part with a special type of nerves which is called sensory receptors sensory receptors sensory receptors they are the nerves that connected to the sensory organs what is the sensory organs one more time eyes nose ears and tongue and skin the nerves that connected with these sensory organs are called sensory receptors so what is the sensory receptors they are the nerves that found in different body parts or that are connected with the mean with the sensory organs. They are receiving the information from the surrounding environment and give it to the spinal cord and the spinal cord give it to the brain to make response for it. So how the nerves take the information to the brain, to the spinal cord and from the spinal cord to the brain and how do the brain take the uh, uh, send this uh, response the information that that the sensory organs are getting from outside or uh, from the uh, surrounding environment it moving inside the nerves or moving inside our body in shape of electric impulses as you can see can you see the electric impulses yes what is this what is this the gray thing it's the nerves okay the information are moving inside our body in a form of electric impulses. Can you see the lightning, th the lightning things that are moving? That's the electric impulses. So the information, the informations are uh, moving inside our body in a shape of electrical impulses. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, from studying the nervous system, let's know what the nervous system do when you smell a food. When you smell a food, you start to know what is this, what is the food, what is this food? Okay, when you smell the food, you start to know what is this food. So, when you smell the food, the sensory organs in your nose, which is are connected with, uh, do you remember? Sensory organs connected with sensory receptors. The sensory receptors or the sensory organs are connected with the nerves. What is the name of these nerves? Sensory receptors. So when you smell the pizza, this information go to the sensory receptors in your nose. And the nerves take this information and give it to the spinal cord and from the spinal cord to the brain. When this information go to the brain, the brain told you that it's a pizza. So you know that, it, that it's a pizza. All that, that steps that I told you that happen in the nervous system, 
okay, that we take information from the sensory organs to the nerves, to the spinal cord, to the brain, and the brain responds for this information to the spinal cord and to the nerves and the sensory organs. All of this happened in a, in a less of one second. In a less of one second, okay? Thank you for listening. Ms. Hiba Ahmed was with you.